If you've watched some of my other videos, you probably know I've got Wink Relay set up at home, but mine are a little different than most. As you can see, I've got a different look and feel and a lot more apps. I've made a couple improvements since my last video, so today I'm going to walk you through and show you the apps I've got running now, as well as the changes I've made. And of course, first up is Amazon Music, a streaming service. With a relay like this in every room of the house, it's pretty easy to have music wherever you want, whenever you want it, in a way that looks nice and sleek. But if the built-in speaker is not enough, you can connect to any Bluetooth device, and in my case, I use Harman Kardon speakers across the house. The HK Controller app lets me control those speakers and link them to different relays as well as share the music across other rooms in the house. The Relay supports more than music related apps though. Here you see the Logitech Harmony app. We have a Harmony hub in every room of the house and this basically turns your Wink Relay into a TV remote. With this you can control your TV, your surround sound, even your streaming devices like the Amazon Fire Stick or TV. There's a bit of a delay the first time you click, but after that you'll see it's pretty smooth. That's not an issue with the Wink Relay or even the Harmony app. The Fire TV Stick is just a little slow when you first turn it on. Moving away from entertainment altogether, here you see the Ratio app, which controls the sprinklers at our house, and you can set the duration as well as choose which zone you'd like to water, and you can do that from your relay. And of course, no smart home is complete without smart lighting. And here you see the LifeX app working on the Wink Relay. 